welcome back to the channel. Big things are coming, guys. Headed over to Phoenix right now to go pick something up that I've been wanting to get for a very long time. It'll be a leap forward for us in our off-grid journey. See you when we get there. Well, slight change of plans. There was a little bit of a mix up where I went to get the item in question and uh, there was a bit of a delay. I had to wait a little bit and before I knew it, things were ready to go. I didn't really have any time to film. So here we are, this is what we have. Take a look at this. That, my friends, is a heavy-duty equipment trailer. Very solidly built. It is by Lamar Trailers. I did go ahead and purchase it right here in Phoenix, Arizona. So, where do I start? First and foremost, you guys can see it is made in the USA as a three-year structural warranty. All right, this is a 20-foot dovetail equipment trailer. So you got these heavy-duty loading ramps that are spring-loaded. Both sides, you can, you can slide them a little bit to the center. Diamond plate, dovetail, steel. These really heavy duty welded D-rings. I've got a total of six of them. Steel diamond plate fenders. Total of four eight lug heavy duty wheels and tires. They even threw in a spare, which I thought was pretty cool. You got places to tie down and places to put a fence all along the sides of the trailer. It comes with this toolbox. It's got, this, got a little shock absorber on it, hold the door up. That's where you throw all your tie down straps and your binders and all that kind of stuff. It's got this really heavy duty crank jack that is also adjustable from the bottom can't really see it on this side I'll show you over here this, this pin right here pull that out and you can drop it down it's a heavy-duty jack right there and you got this heavy-duty adjustable ball hitch uh, 2 and 5 16 ball um, everything on this trailer is like seriously seriously built I mean couldn't be happier with the trailer um, I didn't know, when I started researching trailers, I didn't know that there was a difference between car trailers and equipment trailers. <laughs> so I was looking for a car trailer, but one of the items that I'd like to tow here in the near future is going to be pretty heavy, and I don't think a, I don't think a car trailer would be adequate. So I learned that there are also equipment trailers which are a bit, uh, a bit better built. So that's what I started looking at and I found this one and I really, really liked it, really liked it. So paid for it last week and picked it up today in Phoenix. So can you guys guess what we are going to be purchasing here in the near future? 
to haul on that trailer. Leave your comments down below. Tell me what you think it is. And if you know me, keep quiet. <laughs> Don't say anything. Um, also guys, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel, that way you'll be notified of future content. So, what do you guys think about the trailer? That is a serious flatbed. Um, GVWR on the trailer is 14,000 pounds. Of course, this truck cannot tow 14,000 pounds. It can only tow up to uh, about 12,000 um, with my current setup. I would never tow 12,000 pounds with this truck. That would be literally the tail wagging dog at that point, and, and I don't like towing trailers like that. So, however, I'll give you a hint. The thing that I want to put on here and tow up to the off-grid property is probably going to end up weighing somewhere around 6,500 pounds. So if that's any indicator. All right, um, let's see. Yeah, 14,000 pound overall weight. Um, I think the max payload on this is like 10,500 or something like that. I don't know. Here's the sticker right here. If you guys can see that. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, yeah. Anyways, um, it's got two 7,000 pound axles. The trailer, just as it sits right now, with nothing on the deck, weighs uh, 3,080 pounds, just like this. And I gotta tell you, I was surprised when we hooked it up. I didn't hook it up, he hooked it up at the, at the dealership. But uh, I took a measurement before and after, and it only dropped 3 eighths of an inch. <laughs> Very surprised. And I gotta tell you, the truck really doesn't feel this weight, 3,000 pounds. Can barely even tell it's back there. Other than the fact that I have the truck in tow mode and it's shifting a little bit differently. But uh, as far as power and brakes, you can't even tell. This does have electric brakes. Um, and I've got to take it easy on those brakes to break them in. So, what do you guys think? I don't know if you can tell, but it's a dark gray. It's hard to tell in this light. But anyways, I don't know if you can see it. It's a dark gray, uh, a bit darker than my truck. But yeah, so what do you guys think? And what do you think I'm going to put on it? <laughs> All right, guys. That's going to do it for this one. You guys take care, be safe, and I'll see you in the next video.